today on my mushy files we will be looking at doris the the rum the rummaging plotimus the rummaging plotimus yeah the rummaging plotimus personality Gossipy, fluff, fluff, fluffy loving, noisy. Now the actual figure is not purple, it's blue. Okay, look at that. That is not purple, that is blue. Blue, I say, blue. What do I reckon? Yeah, now you're beautiful. Oh, oh, sorry. But, anyway. The other dinos do include. I will not be able to include the figures on these because I've not got the figures. Includes Gurgle the performer Flappasaurus, Pookie the potty st pip scraper, Snookums the baby Tum T Dum. And there's a very really cute pic dinosaur then. Now the coast to catcher is two moon orchards, but two of them don't really matter what seed code it is, and one of them has to be black. One of the moon orchards. Okay, category or oh, whatever that doesn't matter. Really. Habitat. Rubbaging plotomus live anywhere. Trees up. There are true fluff. Flufflies to be found, usually under trees. So friendly tree woods are a popular hangout. Unlike regular plotomus, rummaging plotomus are obsessed with digging for fluffies, valuable toadstools. That smell of lick was. These gentle mushlings then knit the fluffies into nests and hibernating them for much of the year but i was the first moshi to tame the rumbling platypus i even think it's i even got mine to knit me a fluffy jumper thing is it smelled so good I couldn't resist munching it. When they're not burrowing, knitting or snoozing, Platymus loves gardening while digging up dirt and gossiping about celebrities. And that's what makes them ideal pets, as long as you're not famous. And they're... They like... They like, they like manicures and reading gossip com columns. Dislikes quiet mushlings and tall garden fences. Understandable. So that's all you need to know about Doris.